Hello chess friends, today we're going to do the game of Alexei Shirov versus Grizzchuk. This game was played in Linares in the year 2001. Shirov had the white pieces and he started with e4. Grizzchuk played c5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6, and Shirov played knight to, d to b5. And this game can often transpose into the Shveshnikov variation, uh, depending on Black's response. Grzyzczyk played bishop to b4. Um, oh, and also as a note, uh, this is pretty critical, because um, either endgame or this structure. But in the Shveshnikov line, Black can play d6, and White can force it with bishop f4 e5 bishop g5 and play can continue uh with a6 knight to a3 b5 knight to d5 bishop to e7 um bishop takes on f6 bishop takes on f6 c3 um castles h4 Bishop to e7, knight to c2, um, rook to b8, knight to e3, uh, bishop to e6, and a4, b takes an a4, queen takes a4, and I have a lot of experience in those positions, but being a smart um, player, Gristrick plays bishop to b4, avoiding all that. And in this position, uh, a3 is played by Shirov. And after bishop takes on c3, knight takes on c3, Gristrick played d5. And Shirov played bishop to d3. Although he's avoiding e takes on d5 because it's not quite his style, although it would give uh, black an isolated pawn. He just wants to develop his pieces and get on with the game. So, d4 is played by Grizzchuk. Uh, another idea could be d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, and exchange queens and play bishop to d7, and this game would be very equal. Back to the game. K uh, knight to e2 is played. e5 by Grizzchuk. Castle kingside, castle kingside. And h3 was played by Shirov. Um, so it's a good prophylactic move, just preventing uh, anything moving to g4 and giving his king a lift. Um, now rook to e8 was played, and knight to g3 by Shirov, uh, taking advantage of the light squares around the uh, king side. Now bishop to e6 was played by Grischuk. Another idea could be knight to d7 and reroute this knight maybe on the c5 square or b6 and pr probably play f6 um, maybe which is solid or get this rook active. There's a m lot of different ideas but bishop e6 was played and sheriff plays f4 breaking open the king side. E takes f4 was played by Grischuk. Bishop takes on f4 and knight to d7 was now played by uh, Grizzchuk, which probably had that Korchnoi uh, the Korchnoi idea, in, which is what I showed you earlier, that knight to d7. But th in this position, it's not as strong because Sheriff plays queen to h5, threatening e5, and um, either a weakening of the king or queen takes on h7. There's a lot of just initiative given to uh, white in this position. Um, so that's sort of the disadvantage of bishop to e6. It's like somewhat makes it more inflexible to work around this g6 is played by Grischuk and in the event of f6 uh, which looks good um, but isn't um, there is that e5 attacking h7 Oops. and after uh, if he tried knight to f8 defending h7 with a knight there would be uh, an e5 anyway knight to g6 and knight to e4 
looking at these dark square king side squares and another move is knight to f6 which uh, runs into uh, the same sort of problems uh, later on but Sheriff has queen b5 attacking this b7 weak pawn here and uh, I guess knight back to d7 is the best queen takes on b7 knight d to e5 and queen to a6 uh, so getting away with that poison pawn rook to b8 and b4 and then uh, bishop to b3 a tactic um, for, uh, complicated idea there would follow bishop takes on e5 or you can I mean there's always the c takes on d3 and knight takes on d3 or wait c takes b3 oh and rook b6 first and uh, then you can uh, take on b3 uh, this is a geometry um, idea geometrical because the queen ran out of squares so back to bishop takes e5 then what would follow is rook to b6 here or not bishop takes but um yeah, bishop takes e5 rook to e b6 this intermediate move but then there's this um ooh, very dangerous um bishop takes on g7 and after rook takes on a6 or you can try the king takes on g7 just being a pawn down um with uh weak weak sort of chances i mean well, there's this is a very double edged position um and sure uh saw this um another so so now after the rook takes there's this intermediate move bishop f6 um then there's an incredible initiative for the queen with threats against this king with rook lift and checking and um playing a knight maneuver um there's this is not tenable this is not a tenable position so g6 was tried by Grizzchuk and now queen h6 and queen f6 and principles of attack it's good to always we get make the king get weakened and then go for the attack um another idea is that f6 move um, but there's just some holes in the uh, near the king and after e5 uh, clearing way there's knight c takes on e5 bringing knight in for the defense but then knight h5 and with ideas of uh, opening up the king and h7 dropping uh, queen e7 if rook e7 here then Knight takes on f6, knight takes on f6, and bishop takes on e5. That's not to be tenable. Um, and now bishop takes on e5, f takes on e5, bishop takes on g6, h takes on g6, queen takes on g6, king h8, and knight f6, threatening some tricky stuff here. Um, knight takes on f6, rook takes on f6, attacking, well, keeping an attack in contact with the bishop, queen h7, and queen g5, instead of this equality, um, just being like, um, upon down in game, there's this queen g5, um, and then after rook g8, there's queen takes e5 with tax here oh not there but uh that discovery and um another variation is knight c to e5 knight to f5 threatening to open things and play a pawn up and start getting activity and after bishop takes on f5 e takes on f5 knight takes on d3 removing an attacker there's f takes on g6 h takes on g6 and bishop to g5 uh playing planning for bishop to f6 and this is uh not tenable 
So bishop g5. In, in, so back to the game after queen f6, bishop g5 was played, going for the bishop f6. Uh, queen, H, uh, queen g7 was played. And now queen h4 is played. Knight c to e5. And now bishop to h6. Just trying to get that queen in a terrible square, making the queen worth worse than a pawn. Um, and now... Yeah, queen h8 was played, and knight to f5, with the idea of ripping open that king. Um, another idea is man maneuvering um, the knight to e2, uh, attacking the d4 pawn, and maybe playing f knight to f4 if needed. That's another s more solid idea, but knight to f5. And after bishop takes an f5 in the game... Um, if g takes on f5, and then there would be queen g5 check, knight g6, and a fork, and this is lost. So back to the game. Bishop f5 was played. e takes on f5, knight takes on d3, c takes on d3, and queen e5. Um, Sheriff played here, this rook left, rook f4. And this is very strong. Uh, White's doubling rooks on the F file, and all of his pieces are going to be focusing on that king, and there's no defense. Uh, knight c5 was played, rook a to f1 was played, and now uh, Grizzchuk played, knight takes on d3. But Sheriff played, f takes on g6. The perfect timing um, for this attack. And Grizzchuk had to play, f takes on g3, g6. It, um, yeah. And, I mean, of before, it's not good to just open the, your own king and take the pawn with uh, g takes on f5, of course. Very suicidal. Um, so, now, um, yeah, the rook here also is poisoned. Uh, because after knight takes on f4, then g takes on f7, not, G, not h7, f7. Although g7 is strong with um, discovery ideas, if takes, but f7 is good because after uh, king takes on f7, instead of allowing that queen happening, then rook f4, rook taking f4, king g8. If king e6 trying to run away, there's the pin, um, and like with his, and um, if king g6 boldly going um forward there's this force queen g3 king h6 rook h4 queen h5 queen f4 king g6 rook to h5 and this is winning because uh yeah there's um it's gonna be uh mate like force mate i think um and if I don't know, <laughs> okay, back to the game. Um, so rook f7, okay, so yeah, f takes on after f takes on g6, rook f7 was played, infiltration of the king, and knight c5 was tried by uh, Grizzchuk. But um, now Shiro played rook g7 check, although he had a f clean win with the move bishop to f8. Uh, a clearance move attacking h7, h5, and bishop takes in c5, queen takes on c5, and queen f6 with the unstoppable mate on g7. Um, back to the game, rook g7 was played, uh, king h8, maybe a prolonging of the game could be played or tried with queen takes on g7 like this, but this is not good, I think. Um... Or actually, maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. Uh, this just doesn't, it's just very uh, hard to hold that position. A lot of pressure. Uh, no good defense to the rook going to c1, actually, in my analysis here. Like, um, I don't have my engine on, but... I guess there's no real good defense to um, 
Whoops, no. I guess this. Um, this is losing like that. The rook on getting to the seventh rank by gaining of tempos, like with this knight. Um, I mean, you could try that, but then there's this, and so that's unstoppable idea, which is always going to be an idea Sheriff has in mind. Uh, back to the game. King h8 was played, and rook f f7 uh, was played by Shirov. Grizzstrick played knight to e6. If you tried the queen e1 check, uh, then this is not good because after queen takes e1, rook takes e1. Um, king f2 attacks the rook, and there is no defense um, on the king um, because, like, say the rook moves. Um, there's this and mate. So you have to stop that mate and you would lose the rook if you went for that variation. So back to the game. Knight e6 was tried, and Sheriff played this rook takes on g6. And Grizzchuk, um, he played d3, fearing opening up the king like this and allowing mate like this. So rook g4 was played. And now Grizzchuk played rook g8. But now Shirov played rook takes h7. And mate is unstoppable. Like this. So, yeah. Grizzchuk resigned. And uh, this game was a grid complicated game. Um, I'll go one cycle through it for aesthetic pleasure. This game has many uh, attacking ideas also, and yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the game, and see you soon.